Parliament, there is a bill before them uh, currently, and they are considering that it has to do with the anti-LGBTQI bill. They've started taking proposals. If you were a member of Parliament still representing the people of Zebila, what would be your argument in the floor like? Or on the floor, rather? The argument would have been that that bill is absolutely unnecessary. They, they, they are wasting everybody's time. Listen. Why? These are private markets. You see, they, they are misleading the public that the bill is about a man marrying a man and a, a lady marrying a lady. It is not true. The bill is broader than that. The bill is saying that don't associate don't ever associate if you are persons of the same gender. You must not associate. And I cannot, I cannot support such a situation. I'm not surprised that like, good friends like me and good friends of mine like uh, Mr. Koto and Paul, uh, Professor uh, Techimenu, uh, Professor Kwame Karkari, and so on, are opposing this thing. If I were active in Accra, I would have been in that group. You, you would, you would but, have, you would have what, joined. You would have joined the the, the persons who would. I would have joined them because they are trying. I hear somebody arguing pretextually there that choice is not a fundamental human right. My God, choice is not a fundamental human right. I, I choose to associate with Umaru, and therefore, I am criminalized. Can you can you use a different example? On no, well, I mean, because you are on the show, it is more appropriate. So, I okay, I am associating with another male, associating, not having sex. You see, but, but the intent, the intent of the association is to be intimate, isn't it? That, that's why it is. I'm not sure it's about association that is the per se. I have about the bill. The bill is. Prospect, you are speculating. The bill, the bill is speculating that if I associate with uh, A, since you don't want your name to be used, uh, uh, who is a male, the purpose is for us to have sex. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't. We don't make law based on speculation. Very well. We don't make. We don't ever make law based on speculation. But this question of saying that I had, oh, I'm pulling it, I'm pulling it right now. Uh, this uh, gentleman who says that he wants to present it from the scientific point of view, point of view that, uh, you know, uh, gay, there's no gene, gay gene or something. And when he was asked whether there's also state gene, he started quarreling. But the point is, if, if there is no gauging, and so what? And that, as a result, is a matter of choice. Yes. It is in the Constitution that you can make a choice to associate with anybody you want. Why are you saying that we cannot associate? That because you think that in future, if we associate, the world will become extinct. Is the world going to be extinct from Ghana? Ghana, what is Ghana's population? And uh, if Ghana's population is 30.8 million, and India has a population of 1 billion and over, and China has a population of 1 billion and over, you are now beginning to worry about how your population will become extinct. My view of the bill is that it's absolutely unnecessary. There are more important things for this parliament of ours to deal with than to waste our resources. And it goes back okay. to the question of whether uh, the bill actually is a charge on the consolidated fund, which the chairman of the committee uh, decided that no question should be asked. But the point is that look at, look at the time they have wasted today. It is on our charge. It is on our charge. It is on the charge of the consolidated fund. Very well. Thank you. It's a, it's, it's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a very useless bill. It's a very unnecessary bill, and it ought to have been dismissed 
uh, when it came first before Parliament. Thank you for speaking to us. That's Honorable John Ndebugri, his former member of.